everyone welcome to my channel so today i'm going to be unboxing the globe inbox for february 2019 globe inbox is a monthly subscription that sends you um items made by artisans all around the world and they ensure that those artisans are paid fair wages for the items that they make they also have a store on their web page so if you're not into subscription boxes or you just want a specific item you can go and buy directly from them on their website. The subscription box is $40 a month plus $10 shipping for the um, premium box. They do have a smaller one where you get one item a month. I'm not totally sure how much that is, but I'll leave a link below if you're interested in subscribing. Um, if you sign up with my link, you can get $30 off of your first box. So that is really cool. I'll leave that down below again if you're interested. And if you sign up for longer subscriptions, um, I sign up for a six month plan. You do get it cheaper. And I think six and 12 month um, subscribers get early access to add-ons and things like that. So every month there is a theme and you can either pick that theme, pick a past theme, or use the money like the $50 in add-ons. So that's kind of how it works. So you do have a little bit of flexibility if you don't love the theme. Um, this month's theme was Masquerade, so let's go ahead and get in. I did select this month's theme. I think I had all the old past ones, so. Um, and if you're new to my channel, I do lots of different unboxings here from um, fashion, home decor, beauty, bath, and everything in between. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like. On top, they always have a pamphlet, and this talks about the masquerade box, and we'll have, it kind of gives you an intro, and then it talks about the artisans who made the product. So we'll go through that a little bit. I won't read everything, but we'll definitely go through it. And I'll also be showing you my add-ons at the end of this, because I went a little crazy this month. So this is what we're looking at. So the first item that I am pulling out is a mask, and it looks like this. Next month's theme is tasting and has to do with like alcohol tasting and stuff like that. I don't drink, but I'm going to have some interesting ways that you can use some of the items if you don't drink. So stay tuned for that next month. Um, so the first thing, let's see where I can find it in the pamphlet so I can tell you. So this is handmade in India. It's an embroidered mask. Um, and Zeba, I guess, is the one who makes these. So you can wear these to a masquerade party or um, you can hang it up as quirky, quirky decor. So that's Zeba there. The next thing that I am pulling out are little beads. Um, so it was kind of Mardi Gras themed, so you may not have been into that. Not I'm, I know not everybody was, but I think it's kind of a fun theme. And these are these are like made with wooden beads, so they're like not the cheapo plastic ones. So you probably won't be throwing these around, but they're fun to have, and it's kind of nice to have Mardi Gras stuff in case you ever get invited to like a party and stuff. Um, so these are made again in India, and this is a wooden bead necklace set, and this was made by. Um, sand, sand gram. So you can layer these as necklaces over your sort of flou uh, blouse and just kind of wear them out. So I guess I'll just wear these for the rest of the video. Why not? I used to celebrate Mardi Gras all the time when I was younger. Um, well, it's kind of in German, but um, we used to all get dressed up, my whole school and everything, which was fun. So the next thing is a, oh my gosh, a little um, toy. So they had different ones that you could have gotten, I believe. So they have mini plush animals. So there's a whole array of different animals that you could have gotten. I got a little octopus, which is so cute. I don't know where I'm gonna put it though, but I think it's super cute. Um, and these are made in Sri Lanka. Um, you can say toss from a parade float, gift to your friends as a party favor, or keep it your desk for a workplace souvenir. Maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll bring it to work and put it on my desk, but they're so cute. I know a lot of people, add. you could have added a lot of these on as add-ons if you wanted more. So this is the next thing. Um, what do they call this? This is an upcycled sari macrame garland. And if you know me, I love macrame. I actually have an add-on that's very similar to macrame. So you can let me open this up. So this is a lot more colorful than I usually have stuff in my apartment, but it's really cool. So. This is what it looks like. Oops, it's kind of messed up there in the middle. So you can kind of just like hang this up somewhere. Maybe I'll hang it up there. My sister might kill me. But anyway, that's kind of what it looks like. And it was made in India as well. You can decorate for an event, add a bit of flair to a room. Um, this is kind of fun. I wonder where I'm gonna, if I'm gonna find a place to put this. 
I will be doing a video either this weekend or the beginning of next week. I'm kind of, kind of like a home tour. I'm not going to show you everything in my home, but I'm going to show you like how I style my Globin items because I have a lot of different things from Globin and I think that it'd be cool for you guys to see that. So I'll be posting that, like I said, later this weekend or early next week. So we'll see if I find a way to decorate this. I think I might hang it up there. We'll see. My sister might kill me. Um, then the last items are going to be hand blown glass with handle sets. So this is what they're gonna look like. I'm only gonna unwrap one because I don't wanna waste your time um, unboxing two boxes because they're gonna be identical. And I have lots of add-ons to show you. So, this is what it looks like here. It is so cool and it's very well made. Um, it's like sturdy. I wonder if you can dishwash these or not, or if you have to hand wash them. But anyway, I probably can find that on the website. These are gorgeous. So you get a set of two of these. Obviously you can drink um, anything in them, hot or cold. Um, oh, used for cold or cold, cold drinks, not for hot liquids, which probably means it cannot be dishwashed because that's um, typically has hot water. So cold drinks only. So maybe iced coffee or something like that you could have in this mug. So that's cool. So you get two of those. So that was the box for this month. Um, there were two of those, like I said. So let's get into the add-ons. So the add-ons every month, you get them for a little bit of a reduced price. Um, let's go ahead and start here. So I got this set and I don't know the, the, the prices, but if you're interested in anything in that box or in the add-ons, you can find them on the website. So if you, if you really want the items, but don't you know, want to subscribe, that's another option too. So it is a set of three baskets and they have these little handles. They are made in India, I believe. Um, and they're just three, three different sizes. So I'll find different ways to style them. I think I'm going to put notebooks in one of them because I need something to put them in. So they're really, really cute. Um, the next thing I got was this pillow. I believe this was made in India as well. This would look great on my Jalsa, I think, or my bed. And my bedroom has more like neutral, natural colors. I need to fluff up these little pom-poms here to style them. I haven't done that yet. They just came straight out of the package or whatever. Um, but I just, I am in love with this pillow. It's so pretty and it's very squishy and soft. The next item I got is a, another wall hanging because I can't have enough apparently. Um, so I currently have a couple of these. I don't really have another wall space to put this, which probably means I'm going to take one down to put this one up. But I think this one's really, really cool and very, very pretty. Now, you are paying higher prices than you could if you went to like a TJ Maxx and found something similar, but again, you're paying these people fair wages, so you're going to have to pay more than a TJ Maxx where they're paying people from a sweatshop, which I think is important that you, you can pay artisans th what they deserve. So the next items are a couple jewelry items. The first ones are these earrings here, just gold earrings. Then I also got these little gold earrings with a white little tassel. I have some tassel earrings, but the tassels are just too big, and I like these because they're dainty. And then I also got this necklace here, and that's what that looks like. Then, I told you, I got a lot of things. Um, let's move into, well, let me show you. I got another one of their baskets. Um, where are they made again? Is it Ghana? Yes, Ghana. This is a teardrop shaped basket. Now it's a little bit disformed because it was put in the package, but if you like put these, you can um, reshape them with water. So I have my other basket that I haven't reshaped yet. So I'll probably reshape them together. So it won't have this down the side. It'll be kind of more a teardrop shape, but I think that this is a really pretty color and, and you can just toss blankets or things like that in here. So excited for that. And then, oops, I got a tray like this, a Gramercy tray in gray last, go around and this time I got it in blue my sister's room is blue and I think that this would be really cute in her room so she'll be styling that one in her room and then we'll move on to the ceramics so we'll start from smallest and go to largest so I got two little um, ice cream or side dish bowls here super super cute and I really love their ceramics they're gorgeous so got those then I also got small side bowls or ice cream bowls in this green color here and then I love their ceramic pasta bowls. So I got two of these. I have um, from the same, this is from um, Le Souk Ceramics, or Ceramique. Um, I have these, but in a different pattern, um, but they were sold out of that pattern. So I decided just to go ahead and get these because I really love their pasta bowls and we're running out of them all the time. So it'd be nice to have these. And then the last one, which is the nice big one, 
is this which is absolutely gorgeous. So this is what I will use when I make a kebsa or something like that. Kebsa is a Middle Eastern dish specific mainly to Saudi Arabia with like rice and chicken. So a lot of Middle Eastern dishes lend themselves to something like this. Usually they put, they just dump the whole thing of chicken and rice on a plate and everybody eats off of it with their hands. And there's just something so refreshing about that. Um, and so I figured I'd get this nice one for when I have friends over and I do cook Middle Eastern food or somebody cooks Middle Eastern food and I bring this and then, then we can use it. So that would be really pretty. So those are all of my add-ons that I got as well as the box. Like I said, if you want to subscribe to the premium subscription, I have a $30 off coupon down below if you're interested. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for my Globin apartment tour type of video that I will have coming up soon.